Hi guys, hope you all are doing good. What do you know about South Korea? Other than being the land of the major tech giants such as LG, Samsung and Hyundai, it is also famous for its beauty industry and it has its own pop culture. And we are well familiar with its notorious neighbor. But do you know the relationship between India and South Korea? An Indian princess was married to a Korean king. We used to say Indians are brothers and sisters. But Indians and Koreans are brothers and sisters. That's true. Let's see the full story in this video. South Korea and India. It's far apart. To be exact, more than 5000 kilometers away by air and more than 10,000 kilometers away by sea. It takes so much time to reach there by sea. Despite of its distance, these two regions have so many similarities from language, culture, tradition, food and even games. Tamil and Korean language has more than 500 similar words. They are not just pronounced the same, but they have the similar meaning. For example, in Tamil, we call wife as Manavi. In Korean, they call us Manura. We call fight as Sanda. They call it as Sanda. Grasshopper as Vetukili. They call us Metugili. There are so many similar words. For example, Pal, Pul. They have similar meaning and they are pronounced the same. Not just words. These two languages have similar sentence structure. For example, I am cutting grass. I would say it as Na Pulvetra in Tamil. In Korean, Na Pullubeda. So they even have the similar sentence structure. You would wonder how these two separate regions which are located so far away from each other still have so many similarities. There must be a connection, right? Yes, there was a connection. More than 2000 years ago, around 48 AD, a 16-year-old Indian princess with her servants and her brother travelled in a red ship and she reached South Korean coast. She was received by Kim Suro. Kim Suro and the Indian princess who was named as Huo Huang Ok. They got married and they had 12 kids. Kim Suro was so fond of her wife. He even built a temple where they first met. They had 12 kids, right? 10 had the surname of the father as Kim and 2 had the surname of the mother as Huo. In present South Korea, more than 10% of South Korean population believe they are the descendants of the Indian princess. That's true. Kim Hae Kim, it is the biggest clan of South Korea and they believe they are the descendants of this couple. The origin of the princess is quite unknown because some believe she is from northern part of India and some say she is from southern part of India. According to the recordings, it says she is from Ayutha Kingdom. South Koreans decided we need to find where is Ayutha. So they came up with Ayodhya, a similarly sounding city in northern part of India. So they thought this is the place she came from. They even went there and built a temple for her. More than 60,000 South Koreans visit Ayodhya each year to pay their tributes and connect with their ancestry. Do you know that the present day Ayodhya was not called as Ayodhya 2000 years back? It was called as Saketa. Similarly, the present day Kanyakumari in southern part of India is called as Ayutha 2000 years back. It is also called as Ayi Kulam. The Indian princess might be from southern part of India. This might prove the rich link between the two languages of Tamil and Korean. Not just language. Around 2001, South Korean archaeologists decided to do a survey on the tomb of the Indian princess. They found a two fish symbol. If you are not a South Indian, you may not be familiar with this. But if you are from South India, you would definitely know what this symbol means. It is the symbol of the Pandian Kingdom. This might prove she might be the daughter of a Pandian King. You might wonder why would a 16 year old travel a long distance to marry an unknown man. The story behind this is the Pandian King had a dream. In that dream, God arrived and he said you should send your daughter to Kim Suro and she should be married to Kim Suro. That's why this all happened. The reason why I made this video is because 2000 years ago, without any modern techniques, a king decided to send her daughter to an unknown place to get married to an unknown person. This was quite unbelievable. I will meet you in the next video. Until then, stay home, stay safe, stay positive. Bye.